Hojambo, how are you? And karibu sana to our today's lesson. This is Learn Swahili for Beginners. Jina langu ni Muthoni. My name is Muthoni. What are we learning today? Today, we are looking at Siku za wiki, days of the week. Please repeat with me. Siku za wiki, siku za wiki, days of the week. And wiki moja ina siku saba. Wiki moja ina siku saba. One week has seven days. If you remember very well from our last video, we looked at numbers one to a hundred. So wiki is the word for week or weeks in Kiswahili. When we say wiki moja, we mean one week. Ina, it has siku saba, seven days. Remember, siku saba, seven days. Hmm. Yes, wiki moja. Ina siku saba. All right, you're most welcome. Please sit back, get your notebook or wherever you can take down notes and let's get started. If it's your first day here, you're most welcome. Karibu sana. And uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video, like and leave your comments. We really do um appreciate your support also make sure you turn on your notifications let's do this we are starting off as usual with our vocabulary warm up and on to our first uh, word is the word siku repeat with me siku this is the swahili word for a day or days both singular and plural. Remember, there is another word for. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Uh huh. That is not what I meant to say. Yes, it's a different word. I meant it's coming up next. Yes, this one. Wiki. It sounds like sort of English, right? Wiki is the Swahili word for a week or weeks, both singular and plural. And this is what I meant to say. Remember or note that there is another word for this, which is yuma, yuma. Just in case you hear or come across that word. Mm -hmm. I'm writing it down for you here, yuma. Yes, but for now, let us go with wiki. It is very, very commonly used. All right, on to our next word, which is uh -huh. kila siku. Okay, not a word really, but right? which is kila siku, every day or every day. Could also mean each day, depending on how you use it. Kila wiki. Please make sure you're repeating this with or after me. Kila wiki, every week. Remember, could mean a trick. Wiki ijayo. Wiki ijayo is next week. Or the week that is coming, literally. Wiki ijayo. And then we have wiki iliopita over here. Wiki iliopita. Let me look for my spotlight. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Wiki iliopita last week or the week that passed. Wiki he this week. Wiki he. And we have a question word there. Lini. Lini. Lini is when. Marangapi. Marangapi. Mm -hmm. How many times oh my goodness pardon me for the typo over here we have this is supposed to be times not time so we have an s there okay yes forgive mwalimu yes forgive mwalimu mm, 
it's not working really, but yes. It's supposed to be times not time. All right, all right, as we continue, we have the word safiri, safiri. Remember, this is different from safari. <laughs> safari is journey or trip. Yes, but this is safiri, travel. Safiri, travel, verb. This is a verb. Kuja, kuja is kem, a verb. Actually, this is like an order you're giving someone or you're commanding or you're directing them to do something. So when you say kuja, remember there is a more polite way of saying this in Kiswahili. But there is a reason as to why we are using this because we want to use it um, in a conjugated manner. All right, all right. So let's read through our list. Siku, day or days. Wiki, week or weeks. Kila siku, every day. Kila wiki, every week. Wiki ijayo, next week. Wiki iliopita, last week. Wiki he, this week. Lini, when. Marangapi, how many times. Safiri, travel, kuja, come. Okay, now let's get into the real business here, which is now learning the days of the week. Remember, if you want to learn this in depth, you want to learn the cultural, um, um, uh, significance of days, or the story behind the origin of these days of the week in Kiswahili, you can always come join our private classes or our group classes. Okay? All right. Now, let us just um, learn the days from uh, Sunday to Saturday. All right. So, we have the Swahili word to the left. Is it your left? But to me... X my left, so Swahili and English. So we'll read through fast for you to hear how it sounds. You can uh, repeat with me. So Yuma Pili, Yuma Pili, Yuma Tatu, Yuma Tatu, Yuma Ne, Yuma Ne, Yuma Tano, Yuma Tano. Alhamisi, Alhamisi, Ijuma, Ijuma, Jumamosi, Jumamosi. All right, let us start again. Jumapili, which is Sunday. Jumapili, Sunday. Jumatatu, Monday. Jumane, Tuesday. Jumatano, Wednesday. Alhamisi, Thursday, Yuma, Friday, Yuma Mosi, Saturday. Remember, you need to master them as they are. Please let them not confuse you because they know you might come here and start wondering. You, you, you're looking at the days here, like uh, the, the, the numbers here, like Tatu. I know you can see Tatu, you can see Nne, you can see Tano. And you're like, what is the connection? For now, learn them by heart. Memorize them and make sure you're able to remember um, them. Again, for the last time, mm -hmm. Rudia, after me, repeat after me. Okay, Yuma Pili, Rudia, this is Sunday. Yuma Tatu, Monday. Yuma Ne, Tuesday. Yumatano, Wednesday. Alhamisi, Thursday. Iyuma, Friday. Yumamosi, Saturday. Mm, what is your favorite day of the week? Mine is Yumatano, Yumatano, Wednesday. And what day do we usually have this lesson? Yes. We always premiere or upload um, this lesson on Yuma Pili. Yuma Pili. 
remember when we were learning um a vocabulary list yes we mentioned siku so siku is day or days now when you want to say Jumapili, you can simply say Jumapili, I mean Sunday, you can simply say Jumapili, or you could say Siku ye Jumapili. Mm -hmm. The day of Sunday, the day of Sunday. So this is how we usually say them. You can simply go with Jumapili or say Siku ye Jumapili. Mm -hmm. And then we have Siku. Yeah, Jumatatu, Jumatatu, all the way to Siku, yeah, Jumamosi, okay? So, you can simply say Jumamosi or Siku ya Jumamosi. Are we together? Siku ya Jumapili, Siku ya Jumatatu, Siku ya Jumane, Siku ya Jumatano, Siku ya Alhamisi, Siku ya Juma, Siku ya Jumamosi. But this is giving us a lot of work. So let us, mm -hmm, let us focus on this. It's short and easy to use. All right, all right. And now... Let us, uh, let us go to the next uh, part of this, and which is practice. Yes, practice time. Let us see what we have. The first thing we have on our practice board is utasafirilini. Utasafirilini. Remember from our vocabulary list, safiri is to travel. Utasafiri, you will travel when. So when will you travel in proper English? Uta safiri lini. Uta, you will travel when. Uta safiri lini. Uta safiri lini. All right. Let us see. One way you could uh, answer before purposes of practice remember to always start off like give a complete sentence so nita safiri nita i will travel so nita safiri you could say uh-huh yumamosi nita safiri yumamosi this is one possible way you just need to replace it with uh, the day that you will be traveling, Yumamosi, or any other day of the week that you will be traveling. Or you could simply say, Yumamosi. Simple uh, um, or short answer. Or you could say, Siku ya Yumamosi. See? Yes, nita safiri siku ya jumamusi or nita safiri jumamusi or simply answer with jumamusi. Uta safiri lini? When will you travel? Mm -hmm. Put your answers in the comment section and we'll uh, uh, look at them. All right, let us continue. What is our next question? Uh -huh. Our next question is Utakuja. Remember Kuja from our vocabulary list? Kam. Kuja. Kam. So Utakuja Sikugani. Utakuja Sikugani. Yes. Uta. You will. Kuja. Kam. You will come. What day? That is what it literally means. But on uh, proper English will say, on what day or what day will you come? What day will you come? Or on what or which day will you come? Utakuja sikugani. Yes. What day will you come? All right. Let us see. How will you answer that? Starting off with, nitakuja. I will come. Look at this. Nita safiri. I will travel. 
nitakuja i will come remember the verb to study i know we in our previous uh videos one of our previous videos we learned the word uh soma read study learn mm -hmm. so if you want to say i will study you will say nita soma let me write that down very quickly see how easy swahili is excuse me yes yes nita soma hmm good job uta safiri nita uta safiri you will travel nita safiri i will travel uta kuja you will come nita kuja i will come and now we have nita soma if i'm talking about you i will say nita uta soma uta soma you will study nita soma i will study all right go look up more swahili verbs and try to say them um in the future tense that is using will or shall okay 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 no that's besides business let's go to a next uh practice question utaenda siku gani remember enda is go utaenda you might also see it spelled as utakwenda what's happening okay okay i got it utakwenda mm -hmm. utaenda they are one and the same thing okay so utaenda siku gani utaenda siku gani we on which day will you go or simply what day will you go which day will you go so how will you answer that you remember your days of the week you could simply say well sorry 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 okay Uta, um nitaenda siku ya um jumapili sunday nitaenda siku ya jumapili i will go on sunday nitaenda siku ya remember we said you could simply say the day without adding siku ya so nitaenda jumapili i will go on sunday means the same thing uh -huh. okay now let us look at this wewe usoma mara ngapi kwa mwezi did i add um all right i might need to edit this edit 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 do you need to that yes let me change this right away yes while we're still on here so that it doesn't confuse um us i want to correct uh something yeah 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 let us let us do this let us do this uh -huh. let us do this oh you hello la 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 mm -hmm. yes i'm changing this word this word means month or moon and i want to change it to week so i just did that okay so here we are exchanged wewe husoma mara ngapi kwa wiki wewe usoma mara ngapi kwa wiki how many times a week do you study wewe husoma you study husoma means study like on a frequent basis husoma this is habitual tense husoma you can mean yeah yeah husoma she um he or she studies wow husoma they study like usually so wewe husoma marangapi kwa wiki marangapi remember is um um means times a certain number of times marangapi how many times 
mara ngapi kwa wiki how many times a week do you study wewe husoma you study mara ngapi how many times kwa wiki in a week or a week or per week okay and then you would answer mimi husoma mara mbili kila wiki this is just one possible way i study Marambili, two times. Marambili, every week. Or you could simply say, Marambili, kila wiki. Two times every week. Remember in Kiswahili, adjectives come before the noun. Okay? That is why we have mara mbili instead of what you used like you'd be tempted to say mbili mara okay modifiers must um or come fast all right now let us see another possible way you can say mimi husoma kila siku i study every day mimi husoma kila siku i study every day yes and this brings us to the end of our session today. But before then, do you have any questions? Please put them in the comment sections and we will I will be getting back to you. Oh, you want one more question? All right. What about we uh, give another possible answer for the last um for the last uh, question there? You could add over here, mimi husoma marambili kila siku. So you can say, jumatano, Wednesday, na ijuma, Friday. Mm -hmm. So mimi husoma marambili kila wiki, and that is jumatano na ijuma. Or you can say, kila ijuma, every. I mean, kila jumatano, every Wednesday. See that? Yes, when you say kila siku, every day. Every day, when you say kila, um, kila um, jumapili, every uh, Sunday. So you see how we use that. Remember when we were talking about morning, afternoon, night in Kiswahili? What is the word for morning? Asubuhi. So when you say kila asubuhi, you mean every morning, okay? This would be every morning. All right, all right. So if you want to practice, please um leave a comment in the comment section and we'll tell you whether you got it right and how you should go about it all right all right at this point i'll say asante sana kwa kutazama thank you very much for watching see you again jumapili ijayo next sunday at 1 p.m eastern standard as we learn more Kwaheri, goodbye.